Hey girls and guys and whoever else is watching this. Dogs, cats, anyone, I'm opened. But um, <laughs> today I'm doing a review of the Naked 2 palette which I got for my birthday. Thank you mom. Um, and I figured that this is something that a lot of people like. A lot of my viewers can wear the type of colors that are in the Naked palette. And uh, I just want to really, really want to do this for you. I don't, unfortunately, have the Naked original palette to compare for you guys. But I do have the Naked 2 palette. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you that. And I have lots of swatches. And I did this eye look. And the thing is, I did this. I'm going to be doing a series of Naked palette tutorials because you can do so many um, colors. I mean, you can do so many looks with the Naked 2 palette. But um, this is the look I came up with today. I decided to do a little bit unexpected, a little bit more dramatic for it. So that I can show that you can do dramatic looks with this palette also. You don't have to stay neutral. I mean, it is neutral, but you don't have to stay natural. That's what I mean. So yeah, um, there's going to be a tutorial at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But let's get started with the actual palette review. So this palette is $50, and this is the palette, by the way. It's like this. It says Naked 2 on the front, and it's just a shiny, kind of metal-y thing and then you open it up and I was just looking and you open it up and this is completely animal friendly by the way or urban decay is animal friendly and it has this big mirror and then it has these 12 beautiful neutral colors and I'll show you swatch them they're urban decay so they're obviously amazing quality because urban decay is just such a great brand and then also in this little thing which you might see is empty the palette comes with a brush it's dual sided, it has a flat shader brush on one side, and then a blending brush on the other. And then it also comes with a miniature lip gloss, it's super tiny, and this is just a lip gloss. But I'm going to focus mostly on the palette. So this is the palette, it comes with all that, and it's $50, so I don't... These are all pretty big colors, and there's 12 of them. And you also get the really, really high quality brush and the lip gloss, which surprisingly the brush does really, really good. And the colors are amazing quality as well. And I swatched these kind of a while ago, so the swatches are kind of rubbing away. Okay. So I swatched my entire arm. Can't. How am I going to get it? I swatched my entire arm. So I'm going to show you these. So the first color in the palette is Foxy. Looks like that. It's a really nice highlight type color. And this, I have primer on my arm, by the way. Is it weird to put primer on your arms? I don't know. And you honestly can't see this on camera. It's the exact same color as my skin tone, pretty much. And it is that right there. Which you can see, it actually it just looks a little bit lighter. But that shows that it's really, really pigmented. Does this look weird? I kind of feel like a tiger with my stripes. Anyway, so the next color in the palette is a color that, if you've been an Urban Decay fan for a while, you might have this color, but it's kind of a staple. And it's half baked. I swatched this for you guys as well. This color is one of my favorites of all time. I've had this color forever in my collection. Um, looks like that. And it's this beautiful gold color. And uh, you can probably appreciate it a little bit more in the tin, actually. It's just this really beautiful gold color. It's gorgeous. And I'm just in love with it. And it's so pigmented and so smooth. The next color is Booty Call. And this is actually one of my favorites in the palette. It looks like that. This is awkward, like, hey everyone. It looks like that. It's the third one down. It's right. It's on where I'm pointing. And it's a very light, shimmery color. It looks like this in the palette. So that is Booty Call. It's this beautiful color. It just has a lot of, you can see the shimmer in it a little bit more right there. And it's really, really pretty. The next color next to it is Chopper. And it looks like this. Chopper is... Chopper is this coppery color right here. It's just really, really... I'm sorry, I'm having a lot of trouble from this angle. It's just... It has a little bit of a pink undertone to it. And it has some, some chunky glitter in it, but I think it's really, really pretty. And uh, this one's in the permanent line as well. So that is Chopper. The next color is Tease, and it's this nice brownish mauve color. I used it in my look. I use a lot of these in my look, actually. And it's this nice brown mauve color, and it's really, really pretty. And it looks... 
it rubbed off completely. The swatch for this one is terrible. For some reason, it is just not swatching well at all. It's one of those. It's right there. And it just looks very, very faint, if you can't tell. It just looks very faint. But on the eyes, you will see in the tutorial, it is a lot. It is very pigmented and it's very high quality. The next color is one of my favorites. Actually, who am I kidding? These are all my favorites. I really like them. And this is Snake Bite. It looks like that. It's just a brown color. The next color is Suspect. And that one is this. Again, my arm will not do this one justice. Because it's quite light. Um, it's not, not pigmented, but it's quite light. And um, it's not going to show up on the camera, especially against my skin tone, because my skin tone is very fair. So, um, yeah. And plus, my arm is having a lot of trouble moving. <laughs> the next color is um, the color Pistol. I haven't really gotten too much use out of this one yet. It's kind of... It's, has a little bit, it has a gray undertone to it, this color. It's very, very pretty, and it's very, very good quality. Like, all these are really, who am I kidding? They're all really, really good. And it looks like this. It's the one. It kind of looks like I have a black and blue in my arm. But on your eye, I don't think it would make it look like you have a black and blue. And if it does, then... Ow! I'm going to have a black and blue in my elbow! Ow! So yeah, that's the color pistol. The next color is Verve, and this one is one of my real top favorites in this palette. It looks like it's just this light shimmery color, and it has a very silvery tone to it on the skin, or at least on, on my skin. Because everyone's skin tone is different, so it's all going to look different um, depending on your skin tone. But this is what this one looks like on me. I think it complements me really well. It's just kind of shining on camera. But honestly, in real life, it's it's very, very powerful and so gorgeous. I love it. I'm, like, in love with that color. The next color is YDK, which I've had in the past, but it was white. So I don't really know the deal about that. But this is obviously a very, very brown color. It's brown. It has some chunky monkey glitter in it. It's very, very pretty. It looks like that. These swatches are absolutely terrible. Now for the last two colors, there's the color Busted, which is a dark brown. It looks like that. It's just a dark brown, honestly. And then there's Blackout, which is just a matte black. You can see right there, super pigmented. It's just a matte black. It's nothing really too crazy or anything like that. But um, it definitely is an essential, especially for the look I did, which you guys are going to see. So, the Naked 2 palette, I would definitely recommend it. They're amazing quality. They swatch really, really beautifully, even though you probably can't tell. Because I really couldn't stretch my arm like that. Um, I would definitely recommend it. The brush is super duper soft. And it's very, very dense. And very, very good quality. So, um, I think that's a really nice bonus to it. It says Naked 2 on it. And um, I, the gloss is very nice as well. It's very minty. But overall, I would definitely recommend this palette. If you have the Naked palette, I'm not sure if I could recommend it because I've seen the colors and they're very similar and I don't want to, you know, because then you'd have so many of the same colors. So I don't know. Go check them out in Sephora or Ulta, Sephora or Ulta and um, let, let me know what you think of this review. I would definitely recommend the Naked 2 palette. It's $50 and I think it's worth the money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Oh wait, it's going to get into a tutorial. Let's get into the tutorial. So to start off, I've already primed my eye using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. And um, also, excuse, I have mascara on this eye, but I've had this on all day. So to start off, I'm going to take the color Booty Call. <laughs> so it's like this. It's the third one over here. It's really, really beautiful. Excuse the name. I'm going to take it on the brush that comes with the Naked Palette on the flat shader side. And I'm going to put this on the inner half of my eyelid. It's like that. It's 
very, very pretty. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the color YDK right there, which is the third color from the other side. Same brush. I'm going to put this on the outer half of my lid and kind of leave a little bit of space in the middle. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the color... What color did I use? Oof! That's never good. <laughs> I'm going to take the color Suspect. Let's hope it's Suspect. It looks like that. Same brush again and put that in the middle of them to kind of blend the two colors. And it creates this gradient on your eyelid that just looks really, really beautiful. Sorry about the duck face. I probably shouldn't do that. Okay. Now for the crease, I'm going to take the color Tease, which looks like this. It's just this matte color that's kind of kind of, kind of going to act as a little bit of a base for the more shimmery colors we're going to put on top. There's a little bit of a mauve under. Get this on my on the fluffy side of the brush. And I'm going to put this in the crease. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the color Snake Bite. It's right there. It's right in the middle. The dark shimmery brown with a little bit of a golden tone to it. You get a pretty good amount on your brush there, but be careful because it's very pigmented because it's Urban Decay. I'm going to put this in the crease as well on top of that. And just be careful because it can get a little bit messy because it's very dark. I know it looks a little bit messy right now, but we're going to get it a little bit more fixed in the end, which I still think that the side's a little bit messy, but I don't think anyone's going to be examining your eye with a magnifying glass, unless you're doing a tutorial like I am, which I probably shouldn't have made it as messy, but I'm kind of tired, because it's like 11 o'clock at night, and I'm just tired right now. I've had a long day. And now for the next color, I'm going to take this black color called Blackout. It's just a matte black, pretty typical. I mean, pretty standard, and, um, yeah, it's just pretty matte. Very, very pigmented, and uh, I wasn't careful, and I didn't, you know, be precise. I'm going to put this on the outer corner. I know, I look like I have a black eye right now. But what you're going to do now is you're going to wipe off the fluffy side of the brush, which is what I was using for the whole crease, by the way. Sorry if I didn't say that. And you're just going to blend. So a really, really good brush, especially considering it came with a palette. It's a really, really high quality. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my MAC 227 brush. And I'm going to take the color Foxy. And it's that end color right there for a highlight. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use it to blend all of those colors. To make them look a little bit less harsh and a little bit less messy also. So we can use our highlight color to, to hide our mistakes. Because <laughs> my eyes are a little bit uneven. The eyeshadow, not my actual eyes, which they are too. But, um, okay, so now for eyeliner, that is it for the shadow. Really simple. I'm going to take my black line um, eyeliner from MAC. I'm going to line my waterline. And my upper lash line as well. I know you're not supposed to pull, but I don't do it that often. And uh, if I didn't pull, I'd end up looking like really crazy so I pull a little bit but I try not to pull too much because I know that's bad for your eyes and stuff now I'll, even though I have mascara on I'm going to put on a drop of my Opie Lash Mascara from MAC just to I really don't know why <laughs> okay so that's it for the eyes I'm not going to do any blush today because I'm going to go pretty fast because I'm going to have a review before this and for lips I'm just going to take the color that came with the palette this is it's this gloss, it's in the color 
It's in the color Naked. It just looks like that. I'm just going to put a little bit on my lips. It's just a little squeezy on. Okay, and this is a really minty lip gloss, by the way. But, um, that is my neutral tutorial along with my Naked palette review, Naked 2. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.